Susanna B. Lewis is not your typical Southern mom. Her hilarious viral videos have launched her career as an author and a Southern humorist. Tori caught up with her earlier in today's DBL Spotlight. Hi, Susanna, welcome to DVL. I'm so glad you're here. I want you to first just tell us what it is like when your first video went viral, showcasing that amazing Southern sense of humor. I am not perfect. Look at me sitting here. It's raining outside and my hair suddenly resembles fur. The first video of mine that went viral, I didn't have on makeup or a bra. And um, about 6 million people saw it in 24 hours, so that was fun. It was just amazing, I guess, to watch those numbers on social media climb and climb and to kind of uh, find relief that somebody besides uh, my children think I'm funny. His teacher doesn't know he needs 14 kisses every 45 seconds. She doesn't know that, he's not ready. Uh, have you been able to find humor as a mom dealing with a pandemic? We have a ton of parents and grandparents watching. Is it too soon to make light of the pandemic? How are you dealing with humor and the coronavirus? Well, you know, we have to take this pandemic seriously, but I absolutely think when we can find humor in a tough situation, we win. Yeah. And you know, the other day I had to go to the liquor store and pick up a bottle of wine for a friend and I had my mask on and I walked in and I thought, you know, this is the only time in history you can go in a liquor store or a bank with a mask on and nobody's pressing the panic button. So, you know, uh, I think humor is necessary, especially in tough times. I do too, and it's so globally understood too, which is my favorite. Uh, besides laughs, you do offer tips on how to break the bad habit of just being offended by everything. We here at DBL love you for that. What is the key to breaking this habit? Because we hate cancel culture. I am so tired of being called personally judgmental and hearing other people throw the J word around all the time, okay? We have to remember that just because we are offended or because we don't agree with another person, that doesn't mean that we are right. Mm. And so we have to purposefully, on purpose, you know, have the mindset of when we hear something we don't like or don't agree with, not to go on the offense or the defense. So it's something that we absolutely have to kind of train our minds to do, is not to find offense. They say freedom of speech if you believe in it, but you only believe in speech you like. You don't really believe in freedom of speech, which is so true. What's the point of the end of the year half day? That just means I have to get up at 6.30 and then I have to go get them. Tell us and the viewers why sweet tea. As a Southern mom, why do you always need to have sweet tea? You get addicted to sweet tea. My son had sweet tea for breakfast this morning. No way. Uh, yes, he did. And he how sweet... do you make your sweet tea? Because each person makes it a little different. Uh, two cups of sugar. Oh. That's it. Two cups of sugar. Yeah. And I still have all my teeth, surprisingly. Proud of you. Very good accomplishment. Your funny take as a Southern mom could be found in your new book, How May I Offend You Today, which is, first of all, a great title. What are some of the things you share in this book you want to tell our audience? I think it has an uplifting and inspirational message that encourages readers to stand firm in their beliefs, mm. that freedom of speech. Stand firm in that. Have a backbone when it comes to what you believe in, despite who it may offend, because you're not going to please all the people all the time, and that's okay. I feel like I've just had some sweet tea with a good friend. Thank you so much for joining us. DBL Nation, all of you will like this. Trust me. Susanna's new book, How May I Offend You Today? It's available at woesusanna.com. <laughs> Such a good yeah. website. Thanks again. We'll be right back.